Hello everyone, welcome to Plumology. In this short video series, we will be discussing how to assign the correct fixture unit values to flushometer valves for water closets and urinals. Everything we talk about in this video is based on the Uniform Plumbing Code, Chapter 6, Water Supply and Distribution. In Part 1, we will introduce Section 610.10, we will briefly look at Table 610.4, we'll discuss the difference between branches and mains, and we'll identify the two categories of flush valves. Starting in Section 610.10, Sizing for Flushometer Valves. We're using Table 610.4 to size water supply systems serving flushometer valves the number of flushometer fixture units assigned to every section of pipe, whether branch or main, shall be determined by the number and category of flushometer valves served by that section of pipe, in accordance with Table 610.10. .10. Piping supplying a flushometer valve shall be not less in size than the valve inlet. So what are the key points here in this section of the plumbing code? Well, number one, is if we use table 610.4 to size a water distribution system and that system has flushometer valves we are required to assign fixture units to those flushometer valves in accordance with table 610.10 .10. the second point here to, to make is that the fixture units we give to flushometer valves well, they're, they're not always the same. They can change depending on what part of a system we are at. Sometimes you'll see a flushometer valve on a branch valued at 40 fixture units, but by the time you get back to a main riser or the water service or the building supply, that same flushometer valve will only be worth 10 fixture units. So they can decrease, they can change values as you progress through a building. And we'll explain that in this video. And then the last point to make is number and category of flushometer valves. There are only two categories of flushometer valves. And we'll explain what the two categories are when we get to Table 610.10. .10. Table 610.4. This table is our table that we use if we are going to do the simplified method for sizing a water distribution system. And if we look at the table, we see a highlighted area there underneath pressure range 30 to 45 PSI. And all the numbers in that shaded area are simply fixture units at any given point in the building. It could be on a branch, it could be on a riser, or it could be your building supply, or even your street service coming into the building. But just focus on those numbers. They are fixture unit totals. And part of this video is talking about giving flushometer valves a fixture unit value. So what makes a water pipe a branch or a main? Well, branches are typically your horizontal piping that comes off of your risers. So the third floor, we have a branch. The second floor, we have a branch. And the first floor, we have a branch. And then the rest of the building, we can call it our main or our riser or a main riser. Um, it doesn't matter how you identify it. The point that I want to make is that the fixture unit values that we give to flushometer valves, they can change from point A to point B. So in this example, if we look at the top floor, we have four water closet flushometer valves, and we'll label those with a fixture unit value, and we'll do that for each floor. When we get back to the main, down in the lower left corner, 
some of those original fixture unit values that we give to each flushometer valve, they're going to change value. They're going to shrink. And that's the hardest part for somebody to learn is how to size the branch and carry the right amount of fixture units into the rest of the building. Table 610.3, this is where we get the information in order to give fixtures their values. Everything is represented in fixture units. When we deal with water distribution, we call them water supply fixture units. And if we look at the table, the left-hand column gives all of our basic common plumbing fixtures, starting with a bathtub, down to clothes washers, dishwashers, hose bibs, lavatories. We have different types of sinks, anything from a bar sink to a kitchen sink to a laundry sink to a uh, mop sink. And then we get down to the bottom of the table and we see the urinals and the water closets. But we have a few choices for urinals and we have multiple choices for water closets. And the reason you have multiple listings for those two fixtures is because those fixtures all have different or they can have different flushing mechanisms. And since this class or this video is about flushometer valves, we want to look for the two that are going to talk about flushometer valves. So we see urinal one gallon per flush flushometer valve. And then we see water closet, 1.6 gallon per flush flushometer valve. If we compare those two to the other ones, like say water closet, gravity tank, notice that the gravity tank water closets, they're given a set fixture unit value. The table says that all gravity tank water closets are 2.5 fixture units. Or even the flushometer tank, your pressure assisted tanks, they're 2.5 for public and private use, 3.5 for assembly use. But notice for the two that we have highlighted, the urinal and the water closet flushometer valves, they don't give a value for the fixture. They say C footnote number seven. So on the next slide, we'll look at footnote number seven. So note number seven is saying or telling us we're sizing flashometer systems. We need to go see section 610.10. We already looked at part of that section. Next, we'll look at the second half. We're using table 610.10 to size water piping. Care shall be exercised to assign flushometer fixture units based on the number and category of fixtures being served. Here again we see that number and category language. The number part is very simple. How many do you have? One, two, three, four, just keep counting. The category, again, only two categories it's either a water closet flushometer valve or a urinal flushometer valve. Looking at table 610.10, we see two categories or two, two parts of the table. The top half is for water closets. They say fixture category, water closet. The bottom half is the other category. So fixture category would be urinals with flushometer valves. The two parts of the table are similar. They're both three columns. The headings are the same. The left column is identical. The two right hand columns are a little bit different. And we'll look at each category individually. Starting with the top half of table 610.10, we see that the category is being identified as 
your water closets with flushometer valves. The left hand column is for how many water closet flushometer valves do you have on a pipe segment. So if you have one water closet flushometer, the table tells us to, to size it or give it a value of 40 fixture units. So one water closet flushometer valve is worth 40 fixture units. And that water pipe would be sized for 40 fixture units. Any water pipe in your building that serves only one water closet flushometer valve will always be sized for 40 water supply fixture units. If we have two water closet flushometer valves, the first one or the most remote one will still be worth 40. The second one being served by that uh, water pipe will be worth 30. The accumulative value for those two water closet flushometers will be 70 fixture units. So any pipe in a building, any water pipe that serves two water closets that have flushometer valves will always be sized for 70 fixture units. So two water closet flushometer valves would be 70 fixture units. If we have three water closets with flushometer valves, the first one is a 40, the second one is a 30, the third is a 20, and then the branch piping that serves all three of those flush valves would be 90 water supply fixture units. So any pipe that serves three water closet flush valves will always be sized for 90 water supply fixture units. If we have four water closet flushometer valves, the first one is still a 40, the second is a 30, the third is a 20, and then the fourth will be a 15. And the grand total, or the accumulative total for that piping, would be 105 fixture units. So any water pipe in your building that serves four water closet flushometer valves will always be sized for 105 fixture units. And then finally, if we have five or more water closet flushometer valves, the first one is 40, the second is 30, the third is 20, the fourth is 15, and then the fifth and each additional would be worth 10. The total accumulative value would be 115. So any water pipe that serves five water closet flush valves will always be sized for 115 water supply fixture units. So memorize or write down that decreasing scale. For water closet flush valves, it always goes 40, 30, 20, 15, 10. Once you get to 10, everything after it is a 10. So the 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th flush valve, they're all going to be 10s. The bottom half of table 610.10, this is for the category of urinals with flushometer valves. The left hand column is the same, one, two, three, four, five or more. What changes between water closets and urinals is that the decreasing value or the decreasing scale for urinal flushometer valves is different. Instead of 40, 30, 20, 15, 10, like we had for the water closets, we're going to have 20, 15, 10, 8, and 5 for the urinals. 
So walking through this part of the table, if you have one urinal flushometer valve, the table tells us that its value is 20 water supply fixture units, and the accumulative value for that branch piping would be 20 fixture units. So any water pipe that serves only one urinal flushometer valve will always be sized for 20 water supply fixture units. If we have two urinal flushometer valves, the first one still takes the place of 20 fixture units. The second one will be 15 water supply fixture units. And the accumulative value will be 35. So any water pipe in your building that serves two urinal flushometer valves will always be sized for 35 water supply fixture units. If we have three urinal flushometer valves, the first one is 20, the second one is 15, the third one will be worth 10. The accumulative value will be 45, so any water pipe that serves three urinal flushometer valves will always be sized for 45 water supply fixture units. If we have four urinals with flushometer valves, the first will still be 20, the second 15, the third 10, the fourth one will be an 8, the accumulative value will be 53, so any water pipe that serves four urinal flushometer valves will always be sized for 53 water supply fixture units. If we have five urinal flushometer valves, we still start the first one at 20 fixture units. The second will be 15. The third will be 10. The fourth will be eight. And the fifth will be five. That gives us an accumulative value of 58 fixture units. So any water pipe that serves five urinal flushometer valves will always be sized for 58 water supply fixture units. This concludes part one of our video series for flushometer valves. Hopefully after watching this, you have a better understanding of how the Uniform Plumbing Code prescribes assigning fixture units to flush valves, whether it be a water closet flush valve or a urinal flush valve. We should know after watching this video the decreasing scale for each category. Water closets was 40, 30, 20, 15, 10. Urinals was 20, 15, 10, 8, and 5. In part two, we'll look at simple piping schematics for water closets and urinals, assigning them fixture units for each flush valve, and then adding up the total or accumulative values as we progress through a piping schematic. So hopefully you learned something and hopefully we'll see you for part two. Thanks for watching.